Well, this is the completion of the first phase of the restoration of the former Resimir project, which we've renamed the South Branch Restoration Project. And we're excited because, you know, after six months of really hard work to buy the property and then dream about restoring it and then get the funding from the National Forest Foundation and from El Paso Corporation that really made it possible, it's really an exciting day because so, now it's happened. Uh, we, we like to give back to the communities in which we, in which we participate. We're, uh, our pipelines are across the country. Uh, we've been here operating as Tennessee Gas Pipeline. Tennessee Gas Pipeline is uh, one of the larger pipelines serving the Northeast, inclu including all of New Jersey. Uh, so uh, we've been in this community for a very long period of time. Several years ago, we made a commitment to give back to all the communities in which we, uh, uh, in which we operate in a, in a bigger way and started forming a, an alliance with the National Forest Foundation. We've done projects with the Forest Foundation in, uh, in California, in Colorado, uh, and we're doing, we're doing one now in, in Pennsylvania as well as here in New Jersey. So these are your three tour guides, if you will, and maybe we could stop at a couple. I think when we get down to the uh, stream restoration area, it might be helpful. And then there are some photos along the way and easels and we'll just have an opportunity to see this pretty amazing project. So come on down. So this uh, this property was 135 it is 135 acres. It was subdivided into 16 house lots. And to build the houses, they built more than a, ro a mile of roads that went into the property. And what makes this property so special are the springs, the seeps, that form little streams like this one that flow into the south branch of the Raritan River, which is a drinking water source for a million people here in New Jersey. To get the development back in there, they had to build these big culverts with concrete head walls so the road could cross over the stream. And what we were able to do was remove all the dirt, remove the concrete, remove all the boulders and rocks around here, and restore the stream. And we're in an era where, when you think about places like this, we uh, think about their importance to wildlife, fish, and people. The importance of water resources, fresh, clean water for uh, the native species here and for the people who reside in this area. And this site is really important in terms of the water supply for suburban New Jersey. So we're really pleased to be involved and, uh, and want to thank uh, particularly El Paso Corporation for their leadership to be able to do this kind of work and see these kinds of results that will have long-term benefits uh, is just really phenomenal.